Heyo, welcome into episode 18 of Xenoverse. And if you missed the last episode, go check that out because we're going to be climbing a whole starburst. And that's all you guys need to know, really. Pretty much everything else is told by our fancy dancy layout that's been here, you know, time and time again. So hopefully that's been accurate the whole time or else I'm just lying to you. But who knows? I'm gonna go climb Starburst. <sighs> right after I take a nap. Can't be climbing mountains whenever you, uh... What's going on? Oh, cool, it's free. Oh, his name is Draco. That's fun. The tradition... The tradition says certain individuals are destined to challenge the volcano against certain Pokemon alongside certain Pokemon. Seems you don't have any of those. And yet another time they're going to forcibly make me get my starter. <sighs> I really hate that. I get like they really want to push the starter angle, but it's so annoying, man. I'm gonna take out Tomato because Tomato is just like not really doing anything for me right now. Um, I forgot to move Garbantula to the death box. I'm curious to see if I'm actually right too. Yep. Ooh, you suck making me use this. All right, what encounter do I get? Imagine there are encounters here, right? Nope. And I see that guy is right there, so... Maybe it would be smarter to lead with Fisher. That guy looks familiar. Have we... Oh, Duke Zero. Look who's here, Cloud. What are you doing in here, of all places? I don't even remember what name, like, voice I used for him. It's been too long. Are you looking for Cardinal Abraham? If I'm not mistaken, he usually trains at the top of this mountain. What am I doing, you say? Well, when science calls, the scientist answers. Mount Starburst is crawling with strong and aggressive fire-type Pokemon. However, it seems that Turtonator are anything but violent. Actually, they strive to help trainers who intend to cross the volcano. You see, to reach the top, it's necessary to cross over several lava pools. That's where Turtonator comes in. Hop on the shells to go beyond the lava full areas and con continue your climb. Oh, for the record, once you set foot on Mount Starburst, there's no way to escape. Either using escape ropes, uh, nor other items. Be careful. Nice to see you. Bye bye. Oh, that sounds fun. Um, I mean, if that's how it is, then I kind of just want to use Sandy Gas right now, because, like. But it's all fire type. No, no, this is the right choice. Just safely using Sandy Gas is the right choice. Plus, Sandy Gas is also getting close to evolution. Yeah, I figured they'd be using mostly fire types too, which is kind of why I kind of was like, mm, should I maybe like throw a Gyarados? Because Gyarados is strong. But it's just like, it, it's safe to use Sandy Gas, especially leading each battle. But like, if I can see there's something coming out that is going to be easy for him to fight. Torkoal is not, because I'm pretty sure it's going to have Drought. Oh, this one doesn't. Okay. When I missed? I don't know if I've ever missed Bulldoze. That's actually kind of wild. Oh, very... Like, I feel, like, kind of, like, defeated by that. Like, that I missed Bulldoze. I just haven't missed that move. I've just felt so confident in it, like, all this time. 
kind of sad that Trishot just keeps leveling up, just because I have to have him in battle. Okay, so... Can I just... Hey, there's the Firestone. Okay, so I can wall Pepe now. Oh, and I get my first encounter now. It's, uh, Chiburney. Ch Ch Chibu. Chubi Burney. Chiburney. Ch Ch yeah, I had it right the first time. Chibu Burney. Chibur. Yep. That's how that feels in my mouth. Um. I am certainly intrigued with this thing. Um. He's trying to spit up a lot. Oh, there we go. There, it actually does have an attacking move. I was really curious there for a second if it was going to be another, um... Oh, man, what's the name of it? Uh... It's like the original name of Medieval. It's like Excalibur Boulder. Let me see if I can go Premier Ball. Matches the colors on it. Nice. Alright, let's check out what typing it is. Like, obviously it's a fire type, but I want to say it's just fire normal. I'd be more intrigued if it potentially evolves, personally. Ooh, fire fairy. Its spell contains sugary, high-calorie substances. It's peaceful bask in the sunlight, ignoring... Uh, Birigiri's bite. I think I'm just gonna... I think I'm just going to name you Sloth, to be honest. Seems pretty simple to me. That seems like it's going to be a fun mod to use. Although I kind of already have a fire type, though. Well, maybe I won't end up using it. Uh, that's kind of the unfortunate thing, you know. There's only so many... Oh, there he is. This guy was typing now, too. That's helpful. So I'm not caught off guard. Nice. I almost want to give Fisher the, uh, the, the, the Lucky Egg so that he will evolve faster, but I think he'll be fine. Ooh, hello, free help. Good job, Noah's pathway to hold on. Good job. 10 whole damage. You did your part. You gave me health back. Um. I'm trying to set if I missed it. Okay. I might have to activate a repels. Oh, uh, I might have to activate a repels. Yep, that's what I said. Yeah, see, that's why I has. That's kind of why I want to activate repels too, is because I can't run from a lot of things. So like, this is safe if I just uh, board around here. <laughs> okay, this is the best fishing spot, guys. It's fine. I fished up this turtonator. <laughs> that's great. I love it. All right. Uh, how much? How much bulldoze doing? Oh, well, not quite as much anymore. Did not expect a Turtonator to outspeed me personally. There, maybe now it won't. If I can get another one off before you use Iron Defense again. Ooh, you already have Dragon Pulse too? Okay, well, I know I'm faster now, so I'm good, but. That should give me some good experience, right? Go Snow Day. Trisha, you just you don't need the levels. Your moves don't matter. Sure, forget tackle. Makes me so sad. 
every time I have to pull him out, it's just like, man, you remember when your starter died? Yeah, it was all the way at the beginning of the game because you suck. That's all I can think about every time they like force me to pull that out. There's no way you can't like have these HMs too, so I don't. There's almost like no point to putting them behind those walls. It's like you're obviously you can see it. I don't know. It's weird. Okay, so this is a rock fairy. Um, mine doesn't really have any good moves. I don't even know if mine has rock polish, to be honest. Plus, this thing was already faster than me. Oh, I gotta sneeze. <laughs> I ran out of headphone link, so I couldn't turn anymore. I think some of my allergy is getting me, to be honest. Ooh, baby, give me that clean experience. Apparently it wasn't that much. I thought Medieval would be worth more experience. Okay, I don't want to fight that guy yet, but it doesn't even look like he's turned on. Like, I want to explore this place. Ooh, fire gem, okay. I don't really care about gems, actually. <laughs> I mean, the fire stone is really great, but gems, not as much. Okay, here's another one of... Ugh. Oh, the fighting type. Okay, that's fine. I highly doubt you have too much for me. Okay, well, knockoff won't do as much now, so like, I should be fine. Let's go for the Astonish. Okay, I was getting a little worried about crit. Oh, you're a normal type, right? Um. It's gonna be better just to heal. <clears throat> yeah, I should be fine. I'm gonna go for the bulldoze. I'm just gonna have to counter with my next mon. Uh, will hopefully be good enough to fight him. Grimer's learning knockoff. It looks like knockoff's also consistent damage. Um, I like bite, but I'm gonna go knockoff, honestly. Okay, cool, that's all you have. That's even better. Hmm. I don't think there's another trainer, though, that I'm gonna fight here. Hearthstone, soft sand. Ooh, Soothe Bell. I can see Soothe Bell coming in handy. Alright. I'm gonna do a quick run back seize. And get some healing done, because this is literally right at the front of this. I kind of forget a little bit that it is, but oh, it's so much darker out here. I do kind of hate the noise, though. I know it's just like Porygon's cry, but like... The noise is like borderline deafening whenever you're not ready for it. Come on. Okay, so I try out that way. Let's go this way. I already went down. Up the stairs. Okay, I 
I don't know if Ninetales is going to have Hex. Probably my biggest worry right now. Fuse Ray. Okay. Am I landing? Yes. Okay. Ooh. Okay, don't think one speed lower is enough. Definitely not. If I can snap out of confusion this turn, though, that'd be really, really great. Nope, but I don't need to, because we got Fisher. I believe that just said that Grimer hit level 30. Yup. He's almost caught up with everyone else. Hi, Luna. Hi. Can I help you? Yes, I can hear you purring. Okay, this appears to be a way out, but... What about that guy who's over there? I mean, it looks like his suit was, like, powered off, though. Like, maybe it's something I can't do yet, but I will be doing in the future? I don't know. Um... Let's see. Because I bet that's just the next tap or like the, the peak of the mountain. I'm just so curious about these things, man. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so something for later. Okay, that, that does explain that. It was like they can't function in this high of heat. It also kind of does tell me that, that those are actually robots, which is interesting, I would say. Ooh, ice stone. I wonder if he still uses fire types. There's a black belt, so... And this thing typically has dark type moves, which is not great. I'm looking for that Sucker Punch right now, probably. Yep. I'm familiar with Sucker Punch from Toxic Rogue. Back in the Heart Gold Soul Silver days, his Toxic Rogue had it uh, in the rematch. And man, that was annoying. I'm gonna get rid of Tackle and take both Waterfall and Aqua Tail. I'm really glad that was your only Pokemon. Makes things a lot easier for me. I got a text message. Nope. guys I don't have to battle him should I battle him what does Wraith Claw do is it increase flinches crit ratio so it's just like scope lens I wonder if there's an achievement for these guys snoopers So there's a Pokemon called Sasquatch. Or Sosquatch. Uh, it's very stupid for me to stay in with this guy. Alright, Gyarados has good special defense. Or, yeah. So, I'm probably okay. Let's just see. I guess it kind of depends on what it uses. Intimidate will help a little bit here, though. Oh, boy. He is using Avalanche. Uh, I'm going to go for the flinch on Waterfall. Is he a Fire Ice type? If he is, that's really cool. Uh, no, I don't really need you to know Iron Defense. 
Ooh, snow day though, I think you can learn crunch. Yeah, you got bite. Yeah, give 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 me crunch. Snow day and Trash shot. You're making it so hard. Uh although Snow Day and Fisher are both getting very close to like evolution time. Snow Day's a little bit further away, but Fisher is like right on the cusp of evolution. Wow, what a time for my repel to run out. Oh, there it is. I was like, where's my phone? Gotta check my messages. Mm, this thing again. More knockoffs? Come on, man. Nice. Yeah, I got this boy. And let's just finish him off with the good old bulldoze. <laughs> Got people checking to see if I uh, want to do some Among Us, you know. But it's like, no, nah, I'm I'm, uh, I'm 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 busy at the moment. Uh, you know, gotta make sure we keep that content flow alive. Let's go ahead and get this item. Ooh, okay, charcoal. Um, no. Okay, so that's why I actually needed him. Because there's literally a single ice block for him to melt. And then maybe, like, his energy will show up again. Ooh, hello, Pokemon Porygon thing. And it's a free service. That's what I'm talking about. What a precarious spot for it, though. Makes you think there might be something major happening soon. And they wanted to make sure you were healed for it. Okay. Um, you must first reach Cardinal Abraham. Why? Can I... Okay, what's this way, then? Okay, judging by the fact it shot me off the board, I don't... I don't want to go that way yet. I want to be an explorer. I want to find my own way. But I also don't want to be forced out of a place that I'm exploring. Ooh, hello, Fire Blast. Okay. Now I don't know which one to do first, though. I think... I'm gonna go this way for well. Uh, All right, I can't go that way. Let me let me go this way first because it seems like they made Trishot very important. I'm gonna go this way first. This feels like the summit. No, I, I then I'm not going. No. Luna, you were walking just in the way over and over. Okay, Trisha, just melt the block. Oh, it's a den. Oh. Sure. Okay, so I can't go that way. Do it like this then. There we go. Right on that Charmeleon now. Dang it. I'm gonna beat this den. I'm just gonna make this a longer episode and I'm gonna beat this den and then I'm gonna go talk to that guy.
Come on, guy. Uh, right now, I don't think I can encounter Pokemon while I'm in a den. Not the same way, at least. Okay, this seems like the way to go. Of course it's not, though. Why are there so many Charmeleon in here? Is the end of this a Charizard? This is really the second den I've done. I feel like there are probably a lot more around the region, but either I haven't had access to them or you can't do them without your starter. Which I don't feel like was ever clearly said. I think they were more like, you just do it with your Pokemon. I was like, oh, okay, any Pokemon? Sure. go this way. I feel like it's the wrong way, but I'm gonna go. Yep, there is. Why can't I just like turn around and jump back? Before it like gets to me, you know? Maybe I'm locking myself into a direction too much, you know? Maybe I should just try going the other way. I don't know. Let me just try to go back up this way, but this time I'll take the right. Okay, well, I haven't gone this way yet. And of course there's another one, though. Oh, seriously, how many Charmeleons are here? Like, maybe it's a Charizard or a Charmander, you know? Like, I'm just not even sure at this point what the items are at the end, if it's like this difficult. I must have missed like this huge jump in difficulty along the way because like the last one I did I just had to time my run and you're in my way and since then like I haven't had to do anything so okay I've, I've almost exhausted all the options on the left side I think so, I mean, if those fail me, then, like, it's gonna be pretty easy. You're like, well, go on the right side now. I think I've taken all the top options now. Okay, took that one, and it was wrong. Took that one, that was wrong. Um Okay. Bro, what the junk was that? It was like a Charizard's head was just like stuck in it, but it said Groot. What? Does it even matter if I get back like normally now? I also thought they were normally items too, not just like a random Pokemon with its head stuck through the ground. I don't know, maybe I'm the crazy one here. Okay, so it's just there now. What is this? Oh, yeah, that makes more sense. It's a mascot with a Charizard costume on. That's, that's very funny. All right, that's probably enough damage. Let me just put you to sleep and I'll just throw a ball at you and I'm just gonna count this as a static cause like there aren't that, extra, that many dens. Gonna throw the Ultra Ball. Took me a long time to get through that. Nice. No, I guess I can know about um, Mascot now. Oh, you already went in Crunch? 
I mean, I like knockoff, but like crunch. And you actually change typing with that, that's fun. It defends from predators assuming uh, the form of a bigger Pokemon. It is very popular among bug maniacs. Cool. Um, I kind of doubt this is a mod I'm going to use. I don't think it's actually that good of a mod. I think it's just kind of like a gimmicky mod. Kind of like Kecleon. Uh, I'm just going to call this DJ. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I'm going to reactivate a repel and then I'm going to finish out this area. Because I do kind of assume I'm going to end up being teleported out of this area. Just have to move right there. Looks like there's an exit there too. Uh, am I hurt at all? No. But I do think because there is a Orion healing thing right there, it probably means that I am going to do a battle right here. Looks like Wolfric. That face color doesn't seem right either. <laughs> leave, I'm meditating. I told you to leave! Me and my Skeleon are in the midst of our training. <sighs> Numfar sent you. You must be quite tough if you manage to make it here only to deliver me this water. I reckon it was hard. Let me give you and your Pokemon some. It will give you your strength back. But I just had the Porygon thing. Bless me, I didn't introduce myself. Ah, my name's Abraham. Amongst the four cardinals of Eldwee, I am the one who protects the ground you are walking on. Mount Starburst, the heartbeat of our region, and without a proper balance, it risks destroying its own ecosystem. I'm here to ward it off, and at the same time, I take the opportunity to forge my spear. Did you see that, Scaleon? Someone came here for a visit. Oh. Very cool looking. Then tell me, my young friend, do you want to listen to the old legends? You see, I know them inside and out. Whoever believes I'm more than 500 years old is not that far from the truth. But if my guest serves, that's not what you're here for, am I right? You know, you remind me of a person. Of course, you must be Versil's child. You are two of a kind. Your father was a great man and a real asset to our region. The terrible news of his disappearance was quite a shock to all of us. Oh, forgive my rude demeanor. What did you say your name was? Cloud, I assume you came here seeking answers, don't you, kid? Well then, I'll tell you everything I know about it, but stay strong because the story doesn't end well. You should know that your father has always been fascinated with science and its progress. That's why he decided along with his best friend, Victor, set up a laboratory in Hadworth City. With the purpose of making it one of the best, one of mm, the biggest one in, its, in the region. Victor wasn't a skillful trainer, but made up for it. Uh, but to make up for it, he was a first class mind. In other words, he was the perfect partner for your father. Step by step, the lab staff enriched with new co-workers and became well known all over Eldwee. Among them was the renowned Aster, a kid about your age back then, who was considered an excellent and particularly bright assistant. In short, your father was doing his dream job along with his friends and with a splendid family, but then the unthinkable what you're wearing in your ear is the earth core, isn't it? Therefore, I shall say you are aware of the recent attacks by X Pokemon. They have become commonplace nowadays, but their discovery is not a recent thing. Your father and Victor discovered them. Creatures from a mysterious universe, the human mind could finally go further. Verso believed that these species had been bred as normal Pokemon. 
but Victor had completely opposite ideals. Since then, their paths diverged. I can't read anymore with a cat in the way. Their paths diverged and their passion burning in the laboratory wound down. Invested in his ID ideas, Victor resigned and promised he would promised uh, he would have found a solution to the problem. Using the funds acquired in his studies, he set up his own personal organization, the sole purpose of sealing the X Pokemon forever. As you might have guessed, Victor is the brains behind Team Dimension. Kid, it's very probable that he was the one who made your father, Brasil, disappear. So that he could have no opponents. But unfortunately for him, his love has been inherited by the new generation led by Aster. Trust me, Team Dimension couldn't have made a worse enemy. And now I ask you to come with me, Cloud. I've got something to show you. Come here, kid. Follow me. Okay, so now I'm going like, I'm guessing that up direction now. Since we had to wait on him before. Ah. <sighs> Yep. Yes, I would like to use another one. I remember there was also a thing that said that um, shiny Pokemon have more potential of appearing in this game, but I don't really want to worry about it. We're heading to the Zenith Cave, one of the four Xeno gates of the region. The access, is uh, the access is permitted only to those who achieve Luxflon's Blessing. Well, let's not argue semantics. Oh, camera turned off. Well, don't know really what to do about that right now. Uh, so we're just gonna keep going. I will explain everything later. The plan of Team Dimension is merely the oh, there it is, merely the first domino. The whole plan is in extreme danger. But to fully comprehend these words of mine, it is necessary for you to learn about this ancient legend. Uh, Billy, that's so awkward. A billion, one billion years ago, the universe was ruled by a majestic and powerful Pokemon. Vacuum. It sounds like saying vacuum. <laughs> vacuum. Its size was comparable to a planet, but its body burning like a star. Just like every creature, Vacuum was torn down deeply wait what was torn deep down by diametrically opposed intentions the light symbol of peace and evolution and the darkness bearer of terror and annihilation despite its tremendous power the uh primeval I know the word, but I, I, I've never seen it written out. Uh, I'm just going to go with the primal creature was still subject to the arrow of time and therefore doomed to age and become weaker and weaker. Meanwhile, the dark energy within the creature, willing to leave that dying shell, started rebelling with its purpose of establishing its own separate identity, and thus the darkness busted out of its prison causing the death of the Pokemon itself. The large-scale deflagration was triggered and unleashed life throughout our universe. Galaxies, stars, planets were generated. The Earth formed, ruled half by the light being Luxflon, who incarnated, who incarnated following the explosion, and half by the dark Dragalisk. To maintain the balance between them, there were three elemental guardians, parts of Vacuum 2. The starter Pokemon, Shyleon, Trishot, and Sholong. So called because they were the forerunners of life. But Dragalisk was convinced that life wasn't necessary and banished them from its territory. Therefore, they found refuge in Luxflon's domain. 
thanks to them, the hemisphere under the rule of the light being grew prosperous and florid. On the other hand, the one under the dark lords rotted and remained at a primal, inhospitable stage. Whereupon the latter, envious of its brother's work, decided to make its move. It wanted to steal some of the energy Luxflon used to make Earth flourish so rapidly. Thanks to the intervention of both Luxflon and the starter Pokemon, the attack turned into a defeat. However, Dragalisk was able to take over a tiny amount take over a tiny amount of energy. It used to create soldiers under its will, the X Pokemon. Along with its new army, the Dark One attempted another stampede, but failed again. Then, according to legend, the light being horrified by this greed for power, broke into its energy reserves and turned away. Oh man. <sighs> Definitely its evil twin. In doing so, Dragalisk was confined in another dimension, the Xenoverse. Under the Domain of Light, the Earth attained its fullest development. However, the Dark Lord never got over the defeat, and tried several more times over the millennia to wreak havoc on its original planet. By tearing uh, fault lines in time space space time but the team dimension but if team dimension were to break into the universe darkness would fall on our lives the rifts already located all over all over the region would give dragalisk its chance of revenge it could finally be able to take over everything that luxflon has developed until now but there is a way to avert this threat the starter pokemon are the harmony that keeps the world alive and you cloud bear one of them you are are the expected one whose duties is to prevent its destruction the region no earth needs you oh you still missing something to do this though you are still missing something to do this though I took you here to ensure you obtain a power that goes far beyond the one you currently possess I'm talking about the Xenoversal Evolution. Thanks to you. Thanks to that, you will be able to unlock the full potential of your Pokemon. In order to give this power, however, you have to cross the limits of man. Cloud, you must... You see that enormous cascade over there? That's not water flowing. It's terrestrial energy. It's Luxflon, it's Luxflon itself trying to patch the rifts between this world and another. Only those who possess the Earth Core can therefore walk through the Xeno Gate behind it. But to do that, you must be filled with a certain amount of grudge. That's why I don't know what you're going to face in there, or even give you any help. Remember though, without good, there is no evil, and vice versa. This is the key to harness blue energy. Along with the lolly. Enough with the lollygagging now, it's time to act. Come what may, always trust your ability and your Pokemons. Dwell in there and come back victorious. And with an incredible new power. O oh, like being, to you is my prayer. Grant your apostle the chance to face this trial. Go now. Um. So this is so sad. They had such like a great like thing going, but I messed it up by losing my starter so early on. It makes me just it's so sad, man. I wanted to have this like cool mon. Okay. Finally, you can't imagine how long I've been waiting for this moment. It could seem strange, but I don't need introductions because I am you. That's it. I'm your altar, your nemesis born and raised in this dark, gloomy world. I have no friends, no family, nothing like that. 
I've watched you every single day of your life. You have all I've ever wanted. Hate you with all my will. But the time for self-pity is over now. I'll finally have my revenge. By defeating you, I will take your place. You're scared, aren't you? During all these years, I have thrived on your grudge, growing stronger and stronger. You won't be the one defeating Team Dimension, not even the one saving Dad or anyone else. I will do it, or so I'll finally receive the glory I deserve. Come out, Trishot. Ooh. See, lad, this Trishot is just like me. It grew up in a cruel, primitive mood. Not like your stupid Pokemon. You better watch out. This place is gonna be your grave. Um. You know what? I'm gonna do it. Uh, I'm gonna stop right here. Come back tomorrow if you want to see uh, how this concludes. Bye, guys.